Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to live stamp and chat with Janie. I'm so glad to have you join me today. It is August 10th and we are back. We're actually going to stamp today and um, we are going to look at the awesome sheep stamps and sheep dies. I uh, just got back from exercising, and so we're going to pull out everything while we talk. Let me find them. Here's our sheep dies. And I need to pull up my computer so I can see comments. So I love it when you post a reply into the comments to say hello and happy Tuesday to you. Um, so what should we ask about today? Oh my goodness, that cord got on the count. Oh. So I want to hear what is your favorite celebration product? And um, <clears throat> top of your list, what are you looking forward to creating with for celebration? Ah, get my Okay, so organized. I know. I hope you love me even if I'm not the most organized demonstrator. We are okay, here's our sheet page. Let's see, can we do this all? We're gonna get our sheep stamps out now. And we are going to create with the bedazzling beautiful specialty paper. Let me get a sheet out here so you can see how gorgeous the dazzling specialty paper is. It reminds me of a disco ball party on paper. That They could have called it disco party on specialty paper. Yeah, I'm a little goofball. <clears throat> okay, and then Counting Sheep Stamps, and Dies. Now, they ha Stampin' Up! has warned us that there is a limited quantity of Sheep Dies and Bedazzling Specialty Paper. So that's why I want to be sure to get them in front of you. There's also a limited supply of these Summer Shadows dies that coordinate with our annual catalog stamp set called Shaded Summer, which is on page 75 of the annual catalog. So just a reminder that these products are limited supplies. They will run out and that will be it. So if they are on your list, make sure that you acquire them early and don't wait. I personally thought with limited supplies that they would run out within days of being launched last week, but so far we are doing good, so that's exciting. Just a quick reminder that Celebration runs August 3rd to September 30th and is rewards for orders of our regular product. So when you purchase $50 of product from our annual catalog or mini catalog or the clearance rack or any combination of those products, you can earn different gifts. So the Bedazzling Specialty Paper is free with a $50 purchase. Um, the Penguin Playmates 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper is free with a $50 purchase and so forth. So that is, um, the perks of celebration is getting extras, getting freebies in your hands. So we are talking today about the counting sheep, which is free with a $50 purchase. And the coordinating sheep dies, also free with a $50 purchase. So if you order $100, you could select each of those as free items with your $100 purchase. Pretty cool, isn't it? And then our Bedazzling Specialty Paper is also free with a $50 purchase. So keep those things in mind 
Um, let me just check to see what's going on here. Um, let's see. I just had a quick question there. Okay, so <clears throat> the dies, let's lay them out so that you know what we're dealing with. So I call this guy Disco Sheep. He's so cute. So we have a die for him. We have a die for the frolicking sheep, a die for the walking sheep, and then we have a gate or fence as you want to call it. There is one that coordinates with the party hat. And then we have, <clears throat> these are little, I believe, clouds. So two of those. And then there's a sunshine and a party pennant. And a balloon so that gives you an idea of all of those great coordinating pieces fun aren't they so no fussy cutting required all right so now I'm gonna put these back so that I don't lose them on the floor and now once you take them apart like that <clears throat> I have no idea which direction to put them back, but I'll just put them all in here again. Okay, so since Mr. Disco Sheep is my favorite, we are going to work with him and let's see, get this going here. Okay, I'm just watching for your comments. So please let me know that you're here and what your favorite celebration product is so I can know what you're looking at. Oh, let's see. It's so funny to use your computer and your phone and you got kids and hubbies and all sorts of people messaging you. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to use our Memento Black Tuxedo Black ink. And get our sheep mounted on our stamps, stamping blocks. Okay, so when you think of disco, what colors do you think of? bright colors so let's do let's do gorgeous grape and of course we need to stamp on white because he is a sheep but let's see we're going to go ahead and do you use your grid paper to practice stamp before you stamp on your cardstock just to make sure that your ink is the intensity or saturation that you're desiring. That would be me. Oh, he's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this to my stamp and cut and emboss machine right back here behind me because it makes the table shake like an earthquake. Cut out around our sheep. Oh my goodness, I picked the right, the wrong die. Did you all notice that? I have the wrong die. 
Hello. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. That's a good fit. We have had cooler weather the last two days, and it's just been so refreshing. Even though it's smoky, um, it's just refreshing to have cooler weather. And the smoke reduces a little bit um, as the airflow goes, so that's that is nice. Um, let's see. My daughter asked if we could have a gray sheep, <coughs> so. We're going to color this guy. Oh, those are black. Let's see. Dark smoky slate. And my other smoky slate must be in my bucket here. Oh, I'll just go with it. Let me find my pen tip. So, my color is in the ears. And his face. And we'll give him some gray legs. So I see some back to school pictures this week. Apparently some schools are back in session. Okay, so that's my dark smoky slate that I just colored his his face and legs with. And his little, oh, missed one of the, one ear. I'll do the other ear here. There we go. So we, um, we are in a new phase of life. This is our first year to have one child in school. Such a different phase in life. Okay, so I'm using my light basic black and we're gonna go back and do his hooves. Here we go, there's his little hooves, they're so cute. Um, just adding those on to his hooves. You don't wanna put it on too heavy or it will just overtake the black ink image. Anyway, we have um, three high school graduates now, and that is a really exciting and different stage of life to be in. Okay, so I'm also going to take my Wink of Stella. Where are you, Wink of Stella? I have um, my box here and things fall down. Okay, I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and color in all of his wool and make him really fancy. So anyway, um, my youngest will go back to school at the end of the month. Typically our schedule has um, been really nice that she goes back after Labor Day, but this year it is the week before. So that will work. She's excited to see her friends and I think we're all ready for school routine again. <clears throat> All right, Wink of Stella is very subtle, but I think if I kind of tip it a little bit that you might be able to pick up the um, glitter that sparkles on his, his wool. At least I'm trying to get that. Maybe I need to put it on a little heavier. <clears throat> it's subtle, so you can put it on as thick as you like. All right, there's our little sheep. He is ready to dance and rock and roll. So I'm gonna put him aside. And 
we are going to grab the gorgeous great Inca. And actually, I think I'll go ahead and cut my card base. <clears throat> So this is a full sheet of cardstock and we're going to score it at four and a quarter with our handy scoring blade on our stamp and trimmer and then cut, flip the cardstock and cut it five and a half inches this way. Okay, so I already have some odds and ends left over from other projects, and those are the full six inch length. So I think that I will go ahead and cut them down to five and a half inches. And if you're new to crafting and paper crafts, it's good to cut these types of specialty papers face down. So, that's why I have it upside down on my trimmer. And then I've got these little tiny pieces. So I learned a cool trick from my friend Cheryl. She's an awesome stamper. So we're gonna line up the corner of your card base. Let me get this over more on the camera. Right in this handy dandy right angle corner and then fold the other corner over, press them tight against that right angle corner, and then use your bone folder to fold right on that square line, score line, and you'll have a nice, sharp, even, square card base. Okay, pardon the closing door. So, what do you think? We've got our disco sheet, our fancy disco bedazzling paper. All right, we're gonna pull out our ink DSP that is, oh. Look at this, maybe this would be fun. What do you think? Can you leave me some comments? Should we use Some of this. This is our ombre specialty paper. Or we could get what we're looking for just our regular background DSP. Hmm, I think I'm really liking this. So. Let's cut down a piece. So I'm gonna cut it three inches wide. strips of bedazzling specialty paper. You see how my layout is coming together? And I think he needs to be dancing up like that. All right, so <clears throat> Use our gorgeous grape ink to stamp your amazing on just a scrap here. Nice rich color. 
and then close your ink pad so I don't mess up and stick something in it. <clears throat> up all my little scraps here so I don't. It's nice to be able to see. Okay, so reminder, if, uh, if you're just joining, would you please leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite celebration product is. And if you already have it or if it's on your to-order list. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a punch and this is the label me fancy punch and then I'm going to come back and I think I'll add a ribbon slot Oh, right on the end there. That's, I'm not liking that. Sorry, friends. We're going to do that again. All right. You're amazing. And this punch likes to go in this direction, so I'm going to rotate how I'm stamping to this direction. <clears throat> and I rocked and got too much, so let's try again. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to punch it low in my opening so that I can put a ribbon slot over here because I just have a feeling I need ribbon. So there we go. Now line this up. So I'm going to go in to see where those edges are and then back up to the edge. I've already lined it up end to end and so now I've got my slot. So now let's grab some ribbon and This card is all about the sparkle. So we're gonna go with the Highland Heather Gross, Gross, I am so, apologize. Gross Green, Gross Green, Gross, Gross Green. Oh, you're all gonna think I'm illiterate. Gross Green ribbon. It has a beautiful sparkle to it and it's wide, which matches our slot. So let's just pull that through, grab some scissors and tie a double knot. Doesn't need to be a very long piece because we're just doing a knot. <clears throat> But you do want to kind of fuss with it and get it to lay the way you want. And then you can rotate it to the top of the slot or you can put it at the front of the slot. Um, it's all up to personal preference. Okay, so then let's cut a nice clean diagonal. So it wouldn't be right if I didn't mention that my sweet little foster kittens are going to be ready for adoption next week. So if you've been following, it, following along as I've shared their antics and my um, learning of caring for critical care kittens, um, it's been quite a month, month and a half. And um, they're all healthy, they're perky, they're adorable. 
they need homes. And I always feel immensely better if they go to homes I know. Sadly, if I don't have homes lined up for them by next week, I will just have to take them to the Humane Society and be at peace that they will get adopted and somebody will fall in love with them that will not know their history or the blood, sweat, and tears of getting them to their amazing little selves. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my glue bottle and we're gonna start putting this baby together. So, got our glue. So you can see I don't get too close to the edges because I don't want it to ooze out into a sticky mess. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that right in the center. There we go. Do you like to use glue? Are you a diehard for tape runners? Okay, then a thin little line of glue there. And snug it in right along the edge there and repeat with the other piece. Now, if you do like I did and you got just a little bit too far over to the side, you can overlap them and it will be just fine. Because you do want that little strip to show out, that card base to show up. Okay. Doing good. All right. So I'm going to use our mini dimensionals on our sheep. And get into all those little nooks and crannies of the die cut. You don't have to have a die. A, every part of it covered. So his legs are fine, his little arm is fine, arm, leg, whatever it is that she have. Okay, so this sheep is dancing, so he needs to be, that looks like ballet. This is a rock and roll sheep. I'm going to put him like that. And I think we need to put some ink on those edges. And we're going to grab the sponge daubers. If you are not familiar with our sponge daubers, then this is a great time to share them with you. And my hubby made me this great case that his 3D printer makes this nice grid and it stores them in. I've just had to learn to open them upside down because the inky side kind of clings staticky on there. So this is gorgeous grape. I label them and I just use them over and over again. So I just tap tap it into my ink pad and then stroke right along those edges. Who would have thought disco sheep? Just go ahead. I'm gonna leave my ribbon on there and I'm just gonna slide it over and ink up those edges right around it. See how fast that is? Sponge daubers are so handy and you get such a nice effect using them. There we go, that's, that's gonna look better, I think. Just need a little bit, I want a larger edge of ink. So you can feather it as much as you like. And 
thing yet. I'm still fussing with my ribbon. I think I think it has a mind of its own and it really does not want to go the way I really want it to, but I have tricks. I can use glue dots. Sometimes I put glue dots be behind there and that holds it right where I want it, but I may not be that demanding this time. We're gonna put our regular dimensionals on the back of the sentiment. Hi, Carolyn, and hi, Dana, welcome. What is your favorite celebration product, ladies? Okay, so I'm gonna put this right there. And my ribbon is doing its own thing, which is totally fine. I think it's gonna work. There we go. We've got our disco sheep telling some sweet friend that they're amazing. And yes, our sponge daubers keep your fingers from being so inky, you're right. Put that away. All right, so that is our cute, cute sheep and dazzling designer series paper. So that is the product that I wanna feature for celebration this week is our sheep dies and our sheep stamps. If that is a product that is new to you, and I hope you've enjoyed making a card with me today. Um, and that you're liking my little disco sheep. I think he turned out fun. And ready to dance. Oops, am I on the camera? Off the camera, move down here. I will add the product numbers in the comments and uh, after the video is finished. I hope that you had fun stamping with me today and that you enjoy August wherever you are. I know that our South Pacific friends are not having summer yet, they're having winter. But um, as you're getting ready for school and sending your kids back to routine, I hope that you're ready for some stamping and getting some mom therapy time in with creativity. Oh, thank you, Dana. He's so easy to make cute. Such a cute guy. And I'm sure it's a guy sheep because it reminds me of John Travolta. So, has to be a guy sheep. All right, friends, well, thank you. Please like my page or if you're watching on YouTube on the replay, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for showing up for my live stamp and chat with Janie on Tuesday. And um, it's a reminder that my August host code is here on my little background. And I appreciate when you shop with me. Inspiredstamping.com is my website and you can find the shopping link there all the time. All right. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you next week. And next week we will stamp with the Penguin Playmates DSP. So don't miss out on the, the penguins. Bye, friends. Have a great week.